Singer-songwriter Oliver Anthony's populist anthem, Rich Men North of Richmond, went viral over the weekend, causing strong reactions from both conservatives. Well, there's this Oliver Anthony thing. The anthem for the voiceless. That's the focus of tonight's angle. By now, you've probably heard of Oliver Anthony. One day, he was a nobody. The next, he was everywhere. With a wary, rugged voice and a willingness to tell the brutal truth, Oliver Anthony channeled the frustrations of millions of hardworking Americans into a modern-day protest song. Rich Men North of Richmond is probably the most successful political protest song since the 1960s. So is he the Bob Dylan of a new generation or some sort of industry plant? For those of you that don't know, an industry plant is somebody who seems authentic but is actually backed by a well-funded, well-organized machine of some sorts. Whether that be a record label or some sort of political movement. They did play his song at the Republican debate, after all. We're not picking on him, we just want to know, is he really the working class hero that people say he is? Or is there more to the Oliver Anthony saga than meets the eye? New information reveals a different side of Oliver Anthony, and it may call his entire past into question. Did he really turn down an $8 million record deal? What did he really do for a living? Why does he say he's, quote, not a good person? Today we're digging up the secret past of a man who has achieved very big things in a very short time. Whether you're north or south of Richmond, odds are you'll be shocked at the real truth behind Oliver Anthony. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show us some support. And subscribe to our channel so you don't get left behind. Now you ready? Well, come on and let's go find out. The Official Story The music video that made him famous is bare bones, but the lyrics and performance are extremely impactful the first time you listen. He paints a picture of an out of control big brother government that is obsessed with what you do and think. They are the rich men north of Richmond. Richmond, of course, is a city just south of Washington, D.C. You get it? It's extremely political for a number one song. He even talks about the falling value of the dollar, not just your usual forget all your troubles radio anthem. I mean, who else sings about economics on their number one hits? The more money you make, the more problems you get. But who is Oliver Anthony really? Is that even his real name? So the guy has emerged from where you might expect, the West Virginia countryside. Oliver, the story goes, is a West Virginia native. Just a hardworking high school dropout who happened to get lucky. He began writing music in 2021, but he had little success until he had an opportunity to record a video for an obscure online channel that dedicates itself to showcasing little-known talent from Appalachia. That's when he recorded Rich Men North of Richmond and took the world by storm. The video was posted on August 8th, and within days, he was a worldwide phenomenon. Your dollar ain't shit, and it's tax to no end, cause a rich man. His first public performance was at a humble farmer's market, and he was supposed to be an opener, but instead, throngs of people came out of nowhere to see him perform, and they now knew every word by heart. But you might not know this mystery man isn't actually named Oliver Anthony. His real name is Christopher Anthony Lunsford. Christopher got his performing name from his grandfather, Oliver Anthony, a man who grew up dirt poor in the depression on a dirt floor. He claims he wants to channel his granddad's spirit into his music. Do you think he's doing a good job of that? Get in the comments and tell us. So that's the official story about Oliver Anthony. But how true is it? Indeed, Oliver, or Christopher, is famously avoidant of interviews. So is he hiding something? What would he have to gain from obscuring his past? Sudden success. Rich Man North of Richmond was an ode to the forgotten common man, but its success immediately turned Christopher into anything but. A man more rich and famous than many rich men north of Richmond. So how has Oliver reacted to that money and fame? What about those rumors that he turned down an insanely large record deal? Well, it's estimated that Oliver is raking in a solid 40 grand a day. 
Celebrities like Joe Rogan and Randy Travis have contacted him, and Oliver Anthony is officially the first artist to debut atop the Billboard 100 without any prior charting history. Most people, of course, hit the charts with a combination of record label money, advertising, and more string pulling than a puppet show. But it seems Christopher has fundamentally changed the way the music industry operates. With just his voice and some heartbreaking truths, he's achieved success that most musicians only dream of. But Christopher claims that being a superstar is the last thing on his mind. He recently said, quote, I don't want six tour buses, 15 tractor trailers, and a jet. I don't want to play stadium shows. I don't want to be in the spotlight. He said he's so unconcerned with fame that yes, it's true. He turned down an $8 million deal. It's certainly a nice story. The common man finally receives recognition and fame, but refuses to lose his integrity in the process. But just how true is it? Is it possible that he turned down the record deal because he has much more to gain than to lose? And where did Oliver Anthony really come from? Oliver's story. As he tells it, the story of Oliver Anthony or Christopher begins in 2010. Christopher was 17, a simple, good-hearted country boy, and high school just wasn't working for him. So he chose to work for himself. Christopher dropped out and took a shot at the American dream. Through hard work, he could make an honest living for himself. Christopher worked at a string of industrial plants and paper mills in harsh conditions. Three shifts, six days a week for a measly $14.50 an hour. But the fabled American success story never came. And in 2013, he had a hard fall at work and fractured his skull. Five years of alcohol abuse and mental health issues followed. Then Christopher had an epiphany. The American dream was no longer an option for hardworking Americans. So he decided to take a different path. And in 2019, Christopher went off the grid completely. He took his money saved and planned to live off the land. He bought a shoddy camper and moved in. And it was there he began to make music. Inspired by legends like Hank Williams, he channeled his frustrations with the state of the world into his tunes. And he began performing under the name Oliver Anthony. One thing led to another and voila, he became the superstar he is today. But that's the story he tells about himself. The truth, however, is something else. Is he faking it? After Richmond North of Richmond, everybody from Anderson Cooper to Ron Burgundy wanted an interview with Christopher. Everybody wanted a piece, but he's been a surprisingly hard man to reach. Weeks went by without a single interview from the most trending man in West Virginia and the United States. But finally, a new interview recently came out that revealed some more truth. In this interview, hot off the heels of his first public performance, a few things stand out. One is that his voice and tone aren't quite as intense as many imagine them to be. He seems like a normal dude just people to start appreciating each other for human beings and look beyond political differences and ideologies and a lot of The interview showed that rather than pushing an agenda, he makes music for himself primarily. He was shocked to see how many people shared the experiences that he did. While Richman is a tough, fed up tune, Christopher actually uses the interview to call for an end to divisiveness in America. If Oliver Anthony's story seemed too good to be true, it's because his path is so different from the typical music pathway. Rather than pander to the media, he decided to just tell the truth, or his truth, that is. And it happened to resonate with people all over. His reach has gone far beyond West Virginia. People all over the globe have testified to how much his music reflects their struggles. In an online post, Christopher made this claim. There's nothing special about me. I'm not a good musician. I'm not a very good person. These songs have connected with millions of people on such a deep level because they're being sung by someone feeling the words in the very moment they were being sung. So it seems like he may be the real deal. His story is just atypical. These are wild times we are living in and Oliver Anthony seems to be a valid reflection of that. 
So what's next for Oliver Anthony Music and the people his music speaks to? As of this script being written, Rich Men North of Richmond has earned itself almost 40 million views and it's guaranteed to rack up a few million more. But what's next? Is he destined to just be a one-hit wonder? Well, not if Christopher has anything to say about it. He's been putting out new music, including another powerful song, I Want to Go Home. For sure, I'm just down on my knees, begging the Lord and take me home. Rich Men North of Richmond is a sign that a new era might be beginning in music. So do you remember another song that's this popular that's also politically charged? Whether you agree with his politics or not, one thing's for sure, his message is resonating. But if for the meantime, you're stuck breaking your back for overtime pay, I've got just the tune to ease your pain. So what do you think the future will hold for Oliver Anthony? Do you enjoy the song Rich Men North of Richmond? Who does he remind you of, a young Bob Dylan? Get in the comments and tell us your thoughts. Before you go, hit that thumbs up icon to show us some support. Subscribe to our channel and come back often so we can keep telling you 